Hi children, welcome back to another episode of Collective Worship with me, Rob, and our new series, Don't Worry About It. This series is all about how we can trust God and be filled with peace. Now, our question of the week is this. Have you ever watched an advert on TV in which they promise you all kinds of good things if you just use their product. Like, if you buy this car, everyone will think you are super important. Or, if you buy this brand of clothes, you will always look better than everyone else around you. There are even adverts for going on holiday that claim everything here is perfect, Leave all your bad days behind. Now, do you think that it is even possible for them to truly promise that every day will be perfect with no problems at all? That doesn't seem likely, does it? Well, today we're going to learn that bad days and problems are just part of life. But there is a wonderful promise that we can lean on. Right now, I want you to check out this awesome video. Hey kids, it's me, India. Are you ready for a fun lesson? Yay, me too. Today, we're gonna learn more about my uncle, Jimmy Joe. What, Matt? We are not learning about your uncle, Jimmy, John, whatever his name is. We're not? Why not? Because we have to continue our series, Don't Worry About It. Oh, that's right. Well, what are we learning today? Today, we are learning about how life is full of hard times. Well, that sounds terrible. Why are we learning something so sad? Well... It definitely isn't fun to learn that life is full of hard times, but... You're right! That's a horrible thing to learn! So instead, I'm going to teach the kids something way better. Today, we're learning about superhero dinosaurs from Mars. Now, Matt, I... Now, hey, I'm in charge here. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes, superhero dinosaurs are the coolest animals in the whole universe. Matt... We are not learning about super alien dinosaurs. You didn't even let me finish telling the kids what we're learning today. I promise, it gets better. <sighs> okay, fine. What else are we learning? We are learning how life is full of hard times. But we don't have to worry because Jesus gives us peace. See, I knew this would be boring. Oh, oh wait, did you just say Jesus gives us peace? Yep. Today, the boys and girls are going to learn an awesome promise that Jesus made. Thanks to Jesus, we don't have to worry. Wow, that is exciting. I can't wait to hear this lesson. I better go get ready for it right now. I'll see you later, everybody. See you later, Matthew Cat. Well, kids, I better let you get into your lesson today. You're going to learn a Bible story about Jesus and the disciples at the Last Supper. You're going to learn how you don't have to worry because Jesus gives you peace. Until next time, I'm India. See you later. Jesus said that bad days and problems are a part of life. But we don't have to worry and freak out when bad days come because there is an incredible promise that Jesus made to each of us. And we're going to be learning all about that promise later. Hey kids, what time is it? Yay time! But now it's time for a game. And this week is another bug hunt. Remember, you have to work out 
which bag there is more of, but they are hiding in the dark. Let's take a look. That was a fun game, wasn't it? Thankfully, there were no spiders there. I was a bit worried about spiders. But our song this week is called Our God is a Great Big God. Even though on earth we may have worries, but we can trust in God because he is so big and strong. So let's get off our seats and have a go. We're doing our God is a great big God. 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 And he holds us in his hands. Our God is a great big God.
Oh, I love that song. Now it's time for our Bible story. And I wonder what the people in our story were worried about and what they did. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, my name is Ashton. Guess what time it is? It's Bible story time. Today's Bible story takes place during a very important time of Jesus's life. You might have heard of something called the Last Supper. This is the last meal that Jesus and the disciples had together before Jesus was arrested and crucified on the cross. Jesus had already told the disciples that he was about to leave earth and go to heaven to prepare a place for them to meet him one day. Toward the end of the meal, Jesus began to talk about something very different. He said, in this world, you will have many trials and sorrows. The disciples were probably a little shocked. Why would Jesus be telling them this? This didn't sound very encouraging. The disciples were about to face very difficult days. Jesus knew this was coming and he didn't want the disciples to be surprised when it happened. Then Jesus shared something incredible. Jesus said, but take heart for I have overcome the world. Jesus was telling the disciples that they could have courage and peace. They didn't have to worry. Jesus was promising that he would take care of the disciples. Today, you are going to learn the same lesson that the disciples learned. No matter what happens, Jesus gives you peace. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Bible story. See you around. Have you ever had a bad day? Maybe you wanted to play a game and you couldn't find your favourite toy or your favourite game. This is one of my favourite games I like to play called Ticket to Ride. You know, sometimes I go and look for it and I can't find it. You looked everywhere and it just seems like it's lost and you feel like you're so sad. Hmm, I do feel a bit sad when I can't find my favorite game. Then you go to get a snack and the snacks are all gone. Maybe you really wanted a lovely apple. This is what I like to have as a healthy snack. You're so hungry, your tummy grumbles. You feel aggravated that all the lovely snacks have gone. We are having a bad day, aren't we? I can't find my favorite game and I got no snacks to eat. You know, you want to go outside and play, but you can't find your shoe. Ah, oh. and your mom says, you can't go outside and play until you find your shoe. Now you might be feeling so mad. You know, finally you find your shoe. And while your mum is helping tie your laces, she notices you feel warm. And she tests your temperature with this thermometer. Oh no, and you've got a fever. That is horrible. Now you have to get in bed, take yucky medicine and miss out playing outside what a terrible day it's been with all sorts of trouble. Now listen to some of these amazing words from the Bible. They're found in the book of John, which says, Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus said these words, he said, Jesus said, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I, that's Jesus, have overcome the world. You know, Jesus told his disciples that in this world, there would be days that would be filled with trouble. Jesus also told his disciples that they didn't have to worry because he could give them peace. 
Jesus is stronger than trouble. Jesus is greater than bad days. Jesus can help us through any tough time. We do not have to go through the bad times alone. Jesus is with us always, and he will give us peace. No matter what happens, Jesus gives me peace. Who gives us peace? Jesus gives us peace. So let's finish with a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you told us we will have bad days sometimes, but I know that you are bigger and you have overcome the world. Thank you that you want to give us peace on our good and our bad days. Help us to slow down and relax and ask you for peace. Amen. Well, that's it for this week. And remember, no matter what happens, Jesus gives me peace. Can you say that with me? No matter what happens, Jesus gives me peace. Well done. Well, have a great week and I'll see you again next week. Bye.